Hello, hello, hello. It is I, Banded Wendy. How are you, YouTube? Welcome to the 12 Days of Christmas series, 2014. It is day 10, right? Uh, so I kind of looked back through previous years to see some of the topics I touched on. And uh, I did 10 holiday gifts that every weight loss surgery person needs, uh, 10 tips. And so today I want to do um, 10 things I still use. Um, 300 weeks post-op, heading right into six years post-op with my lap band. And pretty much everything I want to talk about, I've been using since week 15 or before post-op. So they matter, right? They definitely matter. Um, the first one, I will admit that last night my scale was dirty. We ordered a Dyson. It should be here tomorrow. Um, so I had to wash this off. But my scale, and I had a Taylor scale from Target, three of them. And in uh, 2013, last April, I bought this Withing Smart Body Analyzer from the Apple Store. Love it. The scale. I stand on that scale just about every day. Uh, only one time a week matters on Monday, which was my surgery day, so that's my weekly weigh-in day. Um, and I kind of stay in the same range for the most part uh, over the course of all these years. So it's a science project. But this, this machine here gives me body fat percentage, and it also gives me my heart rate and my BMI. Uh, and those are the kind of things that are interesting, intriguing to me at this, at this phase in the game, right? So my scale, number one. Number two, I can remember being post-op and going to the Bed Bath & Beyond and buying this baby. My food scale. Every meal that I make at home, which is easily 20 some odd meals in a week, given the, you know, the week. If my husband's home, we tend to go out much more often, which is fun, um, but I'm a part-time wife, so part of the time I'm home by myself, so I'm always using that scale. I was told to eat four to six ounces of firm protein is how I should look at my meals. And over the years, I've incorporated more complex carbohydrates, i.e. vegetables, um, but I always, four ounces in that scale, on that scale and usually never goes over a max of six ounces if I add any vegetables to it. So I was told that I have a very tiny, and I've seen the pictures, um, stoma, uh, and that is all I should eat. And the skin that we have, that tissue, think about your skin. As we got big, our skin stretched, and now as we're losing weight, our skin hangs. Well, guess what? The tissue, your stomach, whether you have gastric bypass, whether you have a lap band, whether you have a VSG, whatever, right? It's tissue. And if we overfill it over time, it's going to stretch. And when there's not food in it, you're going to have issues, right? Or you're going to be able to eat a lot more. So it is my responsibility to manage my portions. Um, and so I do that, particularly always at home. So I have my scale, my food scale. My pocket peeps, um, they're on my phone and that's what's making this video, but man, you know, I, I don't, my pocket peeps have changed over the years. I've had, you know, as little as one pocket peep, as many as 10 at one time. Um, but we're a tight knit group of people. And at this point, my longest running pocket peep, she knows who she is, uh, has been in my pocket since April of 2010. Um, so a lifelong friend, um, our journeys have, have ridden on the same roads, our journeys have crossed paths, our journeys have gone away from each other, uh, but they know, um, and I know that whether it be the best, most exciting time in your life or the hardest, most challenging time in their life, our lives, we're there no matter what. And I rely on them. Um, I, I, could, I, I think I could make it, you know, without them, but life wouldn't be as much fun. Uh, and I share everything I do with them, uh, for the most part. There is no TMI, and those pocket peeps are my heart, you know? Uh, so, uh, 
They're not the OG pocket peeps from back in the day, the Blackberry Messenger peeps, but uh, I still have access to those folks too. So pocket peeps, they roll. Um, and you know, we share our food, our water, our fitness, our weekly weigh-in, our side body shot Wednesdays. Um, that's the premise of our, the pocket peep life and then everything else that fills in between. So they're some of my closest, dearest friends. Um, these guys right here, <laughs> this, this quarter cup is the max amount of cheese that I ever put in anything. If you look at a cheese packet, it's quarter cup, no matter what kind of cheese, it's quarter cup or one ounce. Well, guess what? One ounce weighs out to quarter cup. My tablespoon, because that's PB2, that's flax, oil, flax seed. Um, my tablespoon, <laughs> it's been, been with me for a while. And my one cup containers. This is what I put on the scale. This is what I eat out of. It has helped me visually to know that more than that, it's stretching out my, my stoma and I don't want that. And um, I have gone away from my plastic ones and now I use the glass ones, but every day, every day. Every, everything you've seen and I've talked about so far, I use every day. Uh, number five, Protein first, 10 to 1 ratio, you know, uh, I live by it. I, you know, 90% of the time, I'm picking protein first. And 90% of the time, it's a 10 to 1 ratio. Uh, meaning, if you're just new to the channel and catching up with it, um, if something has 10 calories in it, it needs to have one protein. That's protein first in my work, right? Uh, so if it has 300 calories, it needs to have 300 proteins. I don't eat much, rarely, ever, over 300 calories at one time. And I also, um, that's going to have somewhere between 26 and 36 grams of protein on average if I'm eating 300 calories. Um, I, I really don't go over that. The only time I go over that and the only time I don't pick protein first is if I'm drinking booze and I'm eating sugar, right? Those two things. And then it's like, ah, why am I counting that? Um, but. That, that protein first 10 to 1 rule is the guide, to, I'm telling you. You just eliminate all the crap and um, your body feels great, your weight loss is great, your mind feels awesome, you like what it does to your body. There's really no other way to live in my book. Um, number six, no drinking with meals. It was one of the hardest things I ever had to figure out how to do. Totally new, not anything like pre-weight loss surgery, right? I had used to set the timer on the clock. I still look at a clock and see how much time I got. No drinking 15 minutes before the meal. I do that about 60% of the time. No drinking with a meal, still 100% of the time. And no drinking 30 minutes um, after the meal. I do that 100% of the time. So that's a rule and I live by it and it works for me. Very important. And I, you know, I hear a lot of people say that are several years post-op, um, that that's hard. That's really hard for them. Okay. Well, how's that working for you? <laughs> it's hard for me too. It was, you know, but I created a new lifestyle. So it works. It matters to me. Awareness, awareness of hunger, physical hunger and satiety, physical satiety. When do I need to eat? What does my body need and will work with my body right now? Morning, post-workout, long run, um, PMS, you know, what? And satiety, being aware of sometimes it's just three bites. And my band and my body says no. Just because there's five ounces of food in front of me doesn't mean I need to eat it all. How do I feel, right? Really being in touch with the tool and understanding the high hunger point and how to fix that and the satiety point. Also, and that is not getting into an extreme hunger mode. Typically, every two and a half to four hours, two and a half to three and a half hours, I'm eating. Um, and that also helps me eliminate grazing, right? Um, so awareness, hunger, and satiety. Non-scale victories, man. I said long, long time ago, they are the glue that holds the foundation together. Still the truth. 
Uh, today, uh, if you've been watching my channel, um, I got married 94 days after meeting my goal weight. And I got to pick any gown I wanted, and I have what I consider the best ever wedding gown. And every year on 10, 10, 10, I get it on and I make a video. Well, this year I was in the process of moving uh, and did not. So today, when I went to go dig up our Christmas decorations, because we still have not put our tree up, um, I found the dress and I put it on. And even with my enhancements, it fits, you know? Uh, those... Those NSVs are the glue that holds the foundation and the journey together, you know? Uh, every day, still every day. Some things never get old. Seatbelt on the plane never gets old. Fit into my wedding dress never gets old. Wearing my gold jeans that I wore in my gold dance video never gets old, you know? There's just certain things that just rock. Uh, and I get held up in the mirror sometimes like, whew, you're doing it. You did it! Keep doing it, you know? And that's a non-scale victory to be in like, in love with myself. So, non-scale victories. Um, number, number nine. This is a real big one. Week 15 for me, I started a regular fitness program. And I started with the Couch to 5K, if you've been watching. Uh, and from there, I progressed to Hal Higdon's um, half marathon training programs. And then I went with Hal Higdon's um, triathlon training programs. And then I went with Hal Higdon's marathon, full marathon training programs. And in the midst of all that, I did um, P90X, right? So I did P90X. And then I went to P90X2. And then I went to P90X3. And the new one that I'm currently in week three of is Body Beast. Uh, so, what I'm calling those are fitness training programs, and honestly, it's about progression. It's about having something to follow, so I don't have to think about it. It tells me what to do, and I do it, um, and it progresses me through a program, and my mind and body change along the way. And I'm always looking for my next. What's the next one going to be? Because we don't want to just be thinner or thin, or have dropped a lot of weight, or wear a certain size, but you want to be strong, you want to be confident, you want to be fit, um, you want to be active, you want to be healthy, you know? Uh, and I am, and uh, it's because I've incorporated these fitness programs into my life. So that's number nine. And the last one, number ten, don't you all be laughing at me, my vitamin box. I've had this vitamin box since year one post-op. And I'm not getting rid of it anytime soon. I don't care how much dirt is in there. I've made the vitamin, vitamin video more than once. You can Google it. You can find it on YouTube. Um, gotta take my vitamins. It's a must. And I set them up on there and I eat them like candy. So those are my 10, right? I would love to see what other people have. What are their 10? This, is, this would be a fun re video response, I think. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you tomorrow for day nine. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas.